Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a video looking at the AQ compensation situation. Now, as you know, we've been covering this, we covered, covered this on Monday, we covered this yesterday. So yeah, I've done like a lot of coverage on the situation, but I kind of feel like this is the, this, well, I wouldn't say it's the last time because there is a fix insight to this in that Kabam have promised to do this, improve the second sequence. Uh, but yesterday put out a compensation package. This was stipulated by Kaban Boo as being this would be a little something extra, especially because it's called continued gameplay issues. And this is what it looks like right here. You can see it's got a good amount of things when it comes to like the level two alliance um, quest revives. You've got some uh, is that in individual, yeah, some individual stuff. You've then got uh, some some stuff there with uh, team like health potions, and that's good. But at the same time, it's one of these things where, and loyalty and whatever, but the thing is, it's one of these situations where it comes in a little bit later than needed. A lot of players, as a lot of you know, if you haven't been keeping up to date with the, the, the news and coverage that I've been doing, is that players were playing anything between map 1 to map 6 and finding that some of the health values, as well as some of the champions they, they were going up against, were just a lot higher than what they'd expect. I, I've, I've seen reports, I've heard reports of people saying that like, upward, no, uh, like map one, that they've seen some ridiculous things. I mean, you know, on screen now, you see like the PI values are just kind of like uh, going up day by day, going up and up and up. And you and here's the thing, like it, it's not always kind of like easy to just get around with that and just do it because it's it, your roster may not be ready for that. This has meant that, you know, on Sunday, we were trying to get hold of Kaban to say, like, you know, what's going on? Um, are you aware of this? Are you doing anything? And yeah, okay, like, not everybody's got to work 24 hours, seven days a week, but there is a skeleton crew that is available. I mean, like, if, if game developers took uh, time off at weekends, then that, that that's not that's not it. You know, we, hospitality, you know, services in general don't don't take, like, a weekend off. So, you know, they need to get need to get answers to players. And I only really felt like an answer was getting to players on like Monday and Tuesday. And we have talked about in the past about maybe Kabam's uh, staff it is kind of like low in number because, you know, there's so many vacancies, especially in the Vancouver office. So, yeah, uh, crazy times. And to kind of like bring this up to now and what I said and one of the big points I said about yesterday was that if they are doing compensation packages, it may not be fully representative of where players are at. Because here's a scenario. Players would have done for, let's say, because we're on day five at the moment, the point this video is going to be released, day five, for the four days prior, or maybe three days that they see that saw this massive effect, that they may not get the rank rewards that they deserve based on what they normally grind out and, and do because it's basically bugged. So you might be kind of looking at like the current situation going, okay, well, as as players uh, who did certain stuff, they might be like, okay, well, we normally get position 1000 or we normally get position uh, 500, depending if you're doing map six or you're doing map five or whatever you're doing. You may be looking at that kind of going like, right, well, we, we're normally there. We'd normally get that or we'd normally get this or this. We get 2% of a tier five class catalyst, whatever. Now it's a case that like they will not get that because it's, this is a difficult situation for them, and maybe it's a case that just like bumps down a lot of stuff because players are going like, oh, we'll be competitive still, we'll still do it, we'll still use a load of items, but it's kind of like too little, too late because that compensation came in on uh, what was the start of day five, so it's like, oh, this isn't good at all. This may makes it kind of like feel like shouldn't there be a compensation package after? And maybe Kabam will do that. I can't really speak for Kabam on this because they've not confirmed it. But they should do something because this current compensation package, regardless of like these map crystals here, which kind of help in sort of facilitating what they'd normally get from 100%ing some of the different maps. And yeah, the compensation for the revives and health potions. But as I said, it's too late because that content is either number one already been done or number two, they've had to abandon it because it's not something they can do with their rosters and it's completely unfair based on the scaling so that's that but as well the glory and as well the loss of the rank rewards and items which you know as we said like you know they're not able to achieve also the same thing would be like with peak milestones because if you're unable to do map six as you normally do map five or whatever map you're not exactly getting all the peak milestones of um of your grind 
So it's like, well, it's a bit of a, a bit of a lot more of a loss for players that do regular AQ um, grind. So there needs to be another compensation package, in my opinion, down down the down the line for this, uh, based on you know Alliance su suffering to a degree. Um, I can't really say it's like you know suffering in game because it's not suffering in life. I mean, it'd be a pretty sad life if you kind of like this game result revolved around um, you know. Well, people use this game as escapism, so you do you at the end of the day. But that being said, like, what was the reason behind this? Like, I found out as of yesterday uh, that, well, first of all, that it is, is going to be fixed after the next AQ cycle. Uh, when it spawns, it will be fine. There's also uh, an extent of how Map 8 had an impact. Uh, one of the command devs said uh, they fixed the increased difficulty issues that some alliances were seeing with six stars spawning rather than five stars. The base minimum was raised unintentionally due to map eight changes, um, and then map eight fights uh, timers will be increased to, to to five minutes because you know the, the fights take ages in map eight. A uh, bit boring at the moment, map eight, but you know I'm sure that it kind of like it's ticked some boxes for players. Uh, but yeah, like th this this is the thing. It's annoying when new content comes in, and not to say like it. Well, at times, you know, I was gonna say like not say that it is or isn't tested, but it's like at times it does feel like look, it doesn't feel like it has been properly tested to to look at this stuff, and that's the thing. If Kabama focused on map eight, maybe it kind of like I don't know when they put this stuff to the live server, that map eight is um is kind of like it's got a bug that then affects the the other maps. It's like Kabam need to kind of figure out a way of kind of ticking boxes and stuff, like have it have it like a check sheet of things. And I, maybe they do, maybe they don't. But you know, in this situation, it's like they need a check sheet of going like, right, well, um, we need to on day what day two check to see our values increasing. Has this fight got any interactional issues? Tick. And it's just like it just goes down that because that's the biggest problem when this content is kind of put into this game. Maybe that's the limitation of of the um, of the kind of the build of the game and whatever I can't remember what the word is, but like, like whatever the game is built on is like having those elements to test is not there, and that's a, that's a problem. Seven years down the line with this game, it it does come a point of going like, look, you know, with all the problems this game has, then you look at the future and go. Is it better to make like a Marvel Contest of Champions 2 or something that you're able to kind of like port the game into something new that you're able to do these extensive tests and as well code in a particular way? I, I, I don't know. Like that's 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 up for Kabam to, to make that decision and, and kind of like look into it if they want to go down that route. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is, this is the thing, isn't it? Like players have grinded out maps one to map six and have found that this has been uh, very disappointing in its uh, delivery because of the scaling. The compensation uh, is just not there. Sadly, the compensation just just not there for players. And, and that's just the experience. That's, that's the thing, like, players experiencing to get a compensation package that looked like this part way through the, um, the, the well, not part way through, but at the end of when cycle the AQ cycle is going to end, and they're going to find out that they are going to be missing maybe some normal glory uh, that they normally get. And going back to like the forums, like, I've just seen like so many kind of weird kind of like uh, fallings out over it. And that's the thing I was uh, the compensation thread that was on there was taken down. Like I, I kind of went today because I wanted to record something for a video and right at the top I've got like um, yeah, so adequate compensation. I, I can't find the the page that was discussed. I, I want to say that it was merged into the one about map, AQ map various difficulty merge threads. I want to assume that it was there, but I haven't found anybody the, the things that people were talking about, and that's it's kind of annoying because there was a lot of kind of like things I wanted to kind of gather in points to uh, to kind of like put into perspective for players' experience to this video. And unfortunately like then then this thread kind of like everyone just at one another's throat throats and I'm like, well I don't really want to be like like covering that in, in this video. It's kinda of go like right, well there's a lot of negativity that comes with this situation. I think the point of this is that Kabam need to find a way to address these things early on. It's a, and this is the biggest thing I say, said said before. AQ may be best to run between Monday and Friday. 
And why is that? Well, for, for me, it feels like it's like a working week when it comes to AQ. And when you're done with that, you can then focus on some other stuff at the weekend, giving you more time. Um, and yeah, okay, chat, you've got loads of champions, but then it's like, I just don't like that extra bit of like working in AQ. I kind of feel like it's Monday to, it's a Monday to Friday thing. Granted, if you work in different types of areas, it may not be the case. But here's the thing. If it starts on a Monday, Kabam see it on a Monday, they're in the office on a Monday, they can deal with it on a Monday, they can make key decisions in meetings on a Monday, and then say like, right, well, let's kind of like down the sequence because it's it's going to break going into Tuesday, and it can be addressed. And it's like, they could tackle it in day one, and we wouldn't have had to kind of like figure out that by uh, day four, that the compensation package doesn't represent players. And then what we're going to find by the end of play today is that players are going to be disappointed by their rank and their peak milestones because they weren't able to do uh, something that could have been sorted out very early on. But I don't know, maybe that's maybe that's the wrong the wrong take to have on this. But it just kind of feels like if Kabam were able to address things sooner, then they don't have to kind of have lengthy threads of unhappy players. But there you go. Uh, that's been a little coverage of this. I hope there's more compensation to, especially for those players that are going to be missing out on some glory because they've had to alternate in what they do. Uh, map 7 seems fine, which is, again, weird. Uh, again, very weird. And then, you know, those are enjoying map 8, you know, map 8. But yeah, uh, that's been the video. What are your thoughts on this AQ compensation and as well problem with... Uh, well, what is it called? Problem? With, yeah, problem with AQ situation. Thoughts in the comment section. Maybe got one or maybe two more videos today. I haven't really decided on my schedule. Maybe stream. I don't know. Um, but uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye bye for now. Oh yeah, and uh, check out some other content on screen. Sorry, check out. Bye bye.